So let's let's do a quick review, right? So for Bitcoin users, they come from uh, Bitcoin wallets, and then for Ethereum users, they come from the Ethereum wallets, right? And then these are the blockchain users um, that they already have their current uh, pr preferred uh, interface to access the, the, the blockchain world. And then Nervos network, uh, Nervos will fit uh, anywhere, regardless how they choose to access, right? Either from uh, the point of view of Bitcoin or point of view of Ethereum or any other blockchains. So Nervos will be there and Nervos also connects with all these networks. But that's not really the whole story, right? So uh, there is this much larger base of internet users. And for them, what we believe the natural onboarding to the blockchain world is through Nervos. Because uh, Nervos is able to plug directly into their current uh, tools and then their current uh, and even future tools, right? So whether it's um, laptop computers um, with secret enclaves or mobile devices with cryptographic um, solutions like these secure uh, uh, you know, chips that they can uh, preserve. It, like, it's almost like a hardware wallet uh, within a, a mobile device, right? So they can directly use their current uh, devices to access the decentralized world uh, through Nervos. So this is what we call uh, what we call the universal passport. Uh, it, it doesn't matter where you come from, and we are able to meet where you are and bring you all these assets from different networks uh, and present them uh, in front of users. Um, so to uh, you know, it's for a solution for a fully decentralized world, but provide a, a almost centralized like uh, user experience.